Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Quickly Dancing Avon Lady, and today I am trying out our new magic wands for the first time. That's right, I haven't even opened these, as you can see. I don't know what they're like or anything, so we are going to test them out together. So let's go do this. A little bit of background about the Magic Wand Foundation Sticks. I actually haven't used a foundation stick in eons. Um, they're featured as a launch in our campaign 20 brochure so it comes in 16 different shades and so that you can use it for contouring use it as a foundation stick and you can also use it as a concealer or even a highlighter which is so exciting so it sounds like a really exciting product i'm excited to try it out what you do is you contour with two shades darker and you highlight with two shades lighter so what i ordered was i ordered the marshmallow vanilla and the chai so let's see if this works, unless I completely messed up and vanilla actually is in my base shade, but you know what? Only time and trial will tell. So this product here, the Magic's Wand, is a demi-matte finish. It is long-wearing, multi-use, and a buildable makeup wand stick, whatever you want to call it. And um, it's supposed to help to kind of blur your pores and your wrinkles and even out your skin tone a bit. It is a vegan product that is also paraben sulfate and phthalate free in addition to that it is formulated with shea butter and vitamin e to moisturize and perfect and provide antioxidant protection it is supposed to blend seamlessly and it's lightweight crease proof and not cakey oh and water resistant nice hopefully that means that is sweat resistant because i'm a sweaty mama i'm so sweaty right now i know it's gross guys i'm telling you all this gross stuff about me and that's salty my but you know what it is what it is. I am who I am. <laughs> All right, so let's open these babies up first. Loving the packaging. It's, you know what's really good about this? The fact that it is so small and compact, which means that it's easy to carry around and easy to bring around. So whether you're going away for the weekend or you're going away on a trip, this is good. I'm gonna do a swatch first. So let's see what this baby looks like. Is it a twist cap? Is it a pull cap? Oh, it's a pull cap. Okay, so it's a pull cap. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, so there's a twist bottom here and it's retractable. That is good. Okay, so here's a swatch. Oh, so soft. Oh, that's not bad. It's a little bit, it's a little bit darker, but you know what, it might be good for my face. It actually might be good for my face because obviously my underarm's a little bit less dark than my actual face itself. All right, so that's the vanilla, which will be supposed to be my base color. Here's the marshmallow. Put that one on top. Oh wow, the marshmallow looks really good under my arm, on my wrist. You can't even tell. That's like a perfect match for my wrist. So if I ever need to foundation my wrist, I will choose the marshmallow one. And then this is the chai. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, I think I did a pretty stellar job. Time to test it on the face, which also means I gotta take my glasses off. So if I'm squinty, you know what. So my face is now, it's clean and moisturized. I gave it some time for my lotion to soak into my skin. And we're gonna start with the vanilla. But let's just try it on my cheeks first. Oh, 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 hey, yeah, yeah. That's actually a really good color on my skin. Okay. Okay, so I am going to go all over. Oh, oh, oh. It's a bit of heavier coverage than what I'm used to, actually. Because normally I do almost like just a simple, 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 um, what's it called? Almost like a tinted, tinted moisturizer. It's not bad. The color match that is. Okay, so I put a bunch of the product. I, I might, I might not be applying this correctly, guys. Just FYI. Literally, I'm doing this for the first time now. Um. Oh, and this is the free beauty blender that you get with purchase right now. Remember, I am not a makeup artist. I'm just someone who likes to play with makeup. So uh, if this is the wrong technique, let me know nicely in the comments below. It actually blends really well. Here's a little tip. If you want the blender to soak up less product, dampen it first. I just didn't this time, but you can always do that. Ah, much better. You don't, just, you don't realize how dependent you get onto your, to your makeup lip until after begin using it the parts where I miss blending already okay that's actually really nice coverage so this probably wouldn't be a daily coverage for me 
just because I don't usually use so much coverage. I just like I like a like some, like a little tint more so than anything. But I like the finish of it. It's like it's not matte, but has a little bit of dewiness to it. Wow, look at the redness is like really covered. It's a good product. So highlighter, I'm going to go use it the middle of my nose. A little bit of, I call it a bird's foot. Okay, nose, top of my lip, chin, top of my cheeks. Anywhere else, honestly, I don't know. I've said this in the past. I'm not an expert in contouring. Heck, I'm not an expert in makeup at all. I just like to play around with it. Okay, so let's try that first. Basically, you want it to be anywhere you want it to kind of pop. So we're going to pop in the, these spots for now. I feel like I'm face painting. But that's okay. Essentially, this is what it is. You know, I used to call this like my war paint. Okay, then caught here. I go here. Wait, did I do another? Yeah, try. I go underneath the cheekbones, right by my temple and forehead, right by the nose, and jawline here, jawline here, and we blend. I have to say, I really like this formula. It's it's dewy. It's it's not it's not cakey, which is nice. As for blending, it blends really well. Whether or not the contouring worked. I'll let you be the judge of that. I might have actually have to go a little bit darker for the contouring aspect of it. But it actually, you know what? Let me let me put on my eyeballs. Take a look. Hmm. Turn the light off. It's not bad. It does pronounce the make this go in a little bit. It's very it's very subtle, which is good. Subtle is good. Subtle is good. What do I think of this? I like it. It's definitely a heavier coverage than my Magic's Tint. My Magic's Tint is what I pretty much use on a more often, if not almost daily basis on, as a tinted moisturizer. This is definitely a lot more full coverage than what I would normally go for. However, if I'm doing an event, I think this would be really, really great. And I love the fact that it is so small and compact. I could put it into my, just even to my purse as a, I need a touch up really, really quickly because you don't have to use a beauty blender in order to get it to blend it. You can always use your fingers too. I mean, it's completely up to you, your tool of choice. I usually just use my fingers for the Magic's tint. And so I guess I could try use my fingers for blending this as well. It is a, definitely a fuller coverage for sure. Like, ooh, my skin looks nice and dewy, which is definitely really nice. And you know what? I think I did, okay, the highlighting color, it is making this look a little bit more prominent. I don't know if I did my forehead quite well, but like I said, I think instead of doing chai, I would need to do maybe even one shade darker, like the toasty or even the cappuccino um just to make it a little bit more pronounced through here again mind you i am disclaimer again i am not a makeup artist but okay i'm just gonna finish up my makeup and then let's see the full results really quickly here Okay, so makeup lies on this really, really well. You saw that I didn't use the my usual bronzer down here because I wanted to see whether or not just the chai would be enough. It does quite well, actually. It's very, very subtle. I just put a little bit of the pink on my cheek. And yeah, I'm actually quite happy with this look. What do you guys think? Everything blended really well. So for blendability, two thumbs up, definitely. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these product review videos, make sure you do give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I have new videos up every single week about dance, about new product launches, about incentives, and what it's like to be a beauty boss. If you're interested in becoming a beauty boss and taking your screen time, your extra social media time to start an online business, make sure you do reach out to me.
at the link down below. Or you go to my e-store at www.avon.ca slash boutique slash Jessica Yick to get started right away anywhere across Canada. Reach out to me. My social media handles are also down below and then that way I'm able to help you along with starting up your own online business. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.